Okay, so we should be just about ready to go. Hello everyone and welcome to the Phoenix Point prototype stream. And uh, today we've got the lead designer and CEO of Snapshot Games, Julian Gollop, with us in the chat. Hopefully he'll be able to answer some of your questions. I don't normally have the uh, chat overlaid on the video, but I figured that not everyone is going to get an opportunity to watch this stream live. And because Julian is only answering everything in text chat, uh, that people who watch this video later on will need to be able to see the questions he's answering. So the chat will be on the screen there. Hopefully it's going to be big enough for everybody to read and not so big that it's going to take up uh, important parts of the screen. But it, it should be okay. I think we can even afford to make it just a, just a little bit bigger there, actually. You're not really going to miss uh, much on that side of the screen once we get into the game. So I'm going to go ahead and start up a uh, Kill the Queen map for this one. And um, also going to bring my own chat to the front because I've lost the window now. I've got 50,000 things open, so it's getting a little bit tricky. And uh, there we go. Fantastic. I can now sort of see what's going on. I think. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna assume it's working. That's that's the best thing to do. Doesn't matter if it's working as long as it looks like it's working. So hopefully everybody can hear me and everybody can see and the sound levels are okay. Hope everything is going okay there. It looks for a moment like I was uh, disconnected temporarily there. I think we are back up and running again. OBS seemed to be having a, a little issue there for a, for a moment or two. Weird. So I'm going to go and do what I pretty much consider to be my meta so far in this build, which is to grab um, one sniper and put him at the back somewhere in cover, uh, have a heavy also at the back in cover, and I'm going to grab three grunts and end our deployment. And there we go, just needed to hit another button. I'm just going to back this uh, up locally in case it decides that it's not going to play ball and record properly over YouTube. So I actually have uh, a question for Julian here. I know there's a few questions already going on in the chat and I hope he's, he's going to be able to keep up because there's quite a few people watching and I can imagine that he's going to have quite a uh, quite a few questions to try and answer over the course uh, of this stream. Uh, but one of the things that uh, I've been seeing a lot today, because I've been, I've spent most of the day reading comments from people, and uh, one thing that has come up multiple times is about return fire. Because so far, uh, you can see that if we have one of our grunts selected, for example, our grunts have the return fire passive ability which is this little icon down here in the bottom right-hand corner above their gun. Now, you don't have that on the heavy, and you don't have that on the sniper. It's a passive ability that can be assigned to uh, specific classes or specific units. And I know there are a few people that are worried that every single alien in the game, whenever you fire at them, are going to be able to return fire. And that return fire is basically going to trigger 100% of the time and hit 100% of the time. So uh, there's definitely a few people interested to know just exactly how the mechanics for return fire are, are intended to work in the final game. So sorry if I'm putting you on the spot there, Julian, but that is probably the most asked question I have seen uh, this afternoon. So in the meantime, I guess we're going to start thinning out some of these guys at the back. Let's go ahead and use our... Uh, sniper and we'll at least find one of these guys and try and take off his um, his gun hand this guy definitely and take off his uh, his gun arm so let's take a good shot at him and he's dropped his gun already so he can't return fire we've we've pretty much stopped that however his little buddy stood next to him he's able to return fire so yeah, sorry Julian the question was basically how is return fire planned to work in the finished game are the aliens going to be able to return fire every single time you shoot at them 
And is it always going to hit? Because people are a little bit worried that every single time they're aiming at his gun arm, you can actually hit randomly and disable uh, various body parts. Luckily we were far enough away there not to take a lot of damage. Yeah, so not every single unit type or class type is going to be able to return fire. But I think the, the sort of... Yeah, it only does half the, uh, half the base damage at the moment. Now let's go and get into a position to try and do some more damage to those aliens over there. I think we should probably uh, hang back a little bit and let some of them come to us. So you don't have a line of sight on that guy now. You do still have a line of sight on the one where we've disabled his gun arm. So I think we'll go ahead and uh, take the shot. Obviously you can see there's a, there's a few issues with line of sight and things, but we should be able to shoot there. We'll only do one damage. He won't get to return fire, and his buddy didn't return fire either because he doesn't have line of sight on us, which is fine. So let's just go ahead and stack a few people up in decent cover. And we can take another shot. We'll ignore the queen for the time being. We want to try and thin out some of these grunts if we can. All these, cra these crab men. And what about you? Have we got any decent cover for you? No. So we'll sort of stick you over the back there. You will have a shot at something. Possibly the queen. Yeah, just the queen. Well, we might as well get started. Let's go ahead and start shooting at those legs. Zero damage. Well, that was a bit of a wasted shot. Should have really overwatched for that one. So I could try and move these guys back a little bit. I mean, the queen certainly could come forwards and do us some damage but I think what we're going to do now is uh, just end the turn. We've taken our shots with everybody. These two guys are the only ones that aren't in full cover so let's go ahead and end the turn. Now we've got a few brawlers coming in. Luckily they can't shoot us so we don't have to worry too much about those. They've, they've got a turn or two to close the gap. Now, we get to return fire as well with the grunts, just the same way that the aliens do when we fire at them. Obviously, the queen being such a large boss has quite a bit of movement, but um, no, I don't think she actually managed to get close enough there uh, to attack us directly, so she's just uh, hatched uh, a lava there. Now, if you were watching me play this uh, last night, you'll notice there was one point where I actually destroyed the queen's abdomen, and she was still able to produce lava. Now that was a bug. And that has been fixed today. So there's already bug fixing going on in this build. Now then. We've got two things quite close to each other. And we'd like to take some armor off the queen. We'd also like to try and kill that lava. So we're going to go ahead and use the heavy. He's in a little bit of a dangerous position. But there's not really many places that he can get to. Uh, that are safe at the moment. Uh, we do have quite a range on the rocket launcher. There's a huge, huge range on this thing. So we're going to go and move our heavy back a little bit. He's not going to be in the greatest of cover, but uh, at least he's, he's a little bit further away from melee attacks. And we're going to go and put that rocket right in here. We're going to go and try and destroy that lava, shred some armor on the queen, do some damage to the queen, do some damage to the brawler and take his armor away as well. So that was a nice little hit there. Now this guy we would potentially like to try and take him out. But we also are very aware that we need to do some damage to the queen. So let's go ahead with our sniper and aim for the queen's head. It was a good solid shot, but we didn't uh, we didn't get any popping action right there. Uh, we can go for the head again with this soldier. It's only got one hit point left, so we can finish the head off.
So you don't really have any line of sights on anything right now. I mean, we could get you to sort of run a bit further away and hide at the back, but I don't think we need to do that just now. Let's use this guy. Now, this guy can't actually see the alien that's down here at the back. We could go ahead and toss a grenade out, though. That's certainly a possibility. We'd only do two damage. But we could knock another armor point off the queen, so that's probably well worth doing. And there's always a possibility that we can cause some bleed. So let's go ahead and attack the queen. Uh, this time, let's go ahead and... I guess we've got to take the carapace off before we can go for the abdomen. So let's try and take the claws down and remove some of her ability to attack. Now we've got the problem now that we've pretty much used up all of our movement. We could try and back off with some of these guys. That's certainly um, possible. So if we go ahead and use Gun and Run, it'll cost us two, um, two of our willpower. But that's fine, because we can use that and back up a little bit. Just get behind some uh, cover over here. The Queen probably still has more than enough range to get in and do some damage to us. We'll just finalise the actions on the grunts. So because the grunts can actually take both of their actions and then you can use willpower to uh, give them the gun and run ability, you have to manually uh, finish their turns at the moment. Yeah, I do actually kind of feel uh, a little bit sorry for Julian. I wasn't, um, wasn't entirely sure just how many people there would be here asking him questions. And I think he's probably got his work cut out for him. And do bear in mind he's been at work all day and it's 11pm um, in Bulgaria, so do bear with him. So, okay, the Queen didn't actually attack us directly. You're coming over here to be a little bit of a pain. There we go. We've got a melee attack there. He's disabled my left leg. Now, luckily, one of our other grunts did get a, an auto shot at him there, which is nice. So we've got a bleed on one of our soldiers. He's probably going to die. And probably quite quickly do. So we need to try and finish off some of these units. You're very low on health. We've got another uh, bug here. And that guy at the back. You're going to die on the next turn, whether we like it or not. So the question is now, what is going to be more useful for us? A grenade? We have a little bit of range on the grenade. Now, unfortunately, we can't move him uh, any further forward with his leg being disabled. Uh, so we'll go ahead and throw that grenade there. We'll use his, his last grenade before he dies. Get some damage done to the queen and the lava. It'd be nice if we could finish them both off, but I don't think that's going to work. Uh, you have a good shot on the queen. And I think that's one that we should probably take, to be honest. So, what can we aim at? We've only got sort of shots on the legs right now. Let's go ahead and try and disable some of these legs on the Queen. And we've got this guy still at the back. Now, the problem with him is he's a little bit far away. And uh, I did back him up to try and protect him from the Queen a little bit. But I'm also a bit concerned that he won't do as much damage as he could. So, we'll try and get a little bit closer with him. And we could aim at that guy that's all the way down there at the back. Or we can go for another shot on the queen. In fact, we can actually disable that leg now. That should be enough to disable that leg. That's going to slow her down a little bit. Now you're actually taking a return fire shot at me there, which is unfortunate. Okay, now I think we've still got the sniper. The sniper's not in a particularly great spot. Neither is the heavy. Um, now, what's wrong with the heavy? Why can't we take a shot here? Did we already take a shot with the heavy? Ah, oh, it's because we've got the rocket launcher selected. There we go. So, we can take a shot with the heavy and we could go for... He's not got a lot of things that he can aim at right now. Definitely some more legs we could target. We can't hit any other body parts. So let's go ahead and try and at least disable one of these legs then. 
There we go. We've actually managed to panic the alien queen as well here. The crab queen. Well, that's made things a lot easier for us. Now we've got our sniper, who I'm getting very concerned about. Not too bothered about the lava. What we can do here with our sniper is if we switch to our pistol... And we can fire a shot and actually aim at the lava, because we can kill that. It's only got one hit point. So we'll shoot that with our pistol and finish it off. And that's just reduced the willpower of some of the aliens and given some back to our sniper, who's currently capped at his max willpower. But we can spend two to get an extra shot now with the pistol. And we can use that to shoot at the queen. And we can actually start taking pot shots at the abdomen, or we can start going for the claw. And I think we're going to try and disable that claw as much as we can. We don't really have many other shots to uh, to finish that off. So we may well take some damage here from the queen. This grunt's going to die, which is unfortunate. Yeah, so somebody just asked a good question. And it was, uh, it was something that I was thinking about uh, earlier on uh, in this particular match. And that's when you attack a body part, and say that body part only has a single hit point left, and you do some damage that would normally be, say for example, um, 5 or 6 damage. What happens to the remaining 4 or 5 over? Well, in this case, uh, it does actually come off the general hit points. So we took a nasty amount of damage right there. So, we've got a few people that are bleeding. We've taken willpower hits everywhere. Our sniper's got a disabled torso. So, if our sniper wants to do something, he really needs to do it now. Um, let's go ahead and... Well, first of all, let's go ahead and use these guys over here. And we'll see what they can shoot at. You don't have any line of sight on anything at the moment. Now, you have a disabled arm. You can't actually use your main weapon. And we can switch to grenades for you. So let's move in. We're not doing quite as well on this one as we have done in some of the previous attempts. So we'll move a little closer. And we'll see how far we can reach with the grenade. We can actually kill that guy off and do some damage to the queen. So I think that's what, we, what we're going to go for. So how we're going to use his grenade. Unfortunately we are taking some uh, return fire. Now then, can you do anything to reduce the problems that we might get from this guy? Let's move you over here. And we'll take a... Uh, well, we can almost finish him off, actually. We'll take that shot. We'll see if we can uh, take him down. We'll take some return fire here as well. Oh, there are a lot of different ways to get bleeds in this at the moment, but... There should be ways to deal with that. I even aimed at the wrong target, so that was my uh, my bad. So, Sniper, you're not in a great position here, are you? Uh, let's go and take that shot at the abdomen. This should be enough to kill the Queen off. Well, that's the Queen dead, but it doesn't leave us in a great position. Still got an injured leg for our heavy, so he can move even less than usual. There is one alien that we can shoot at. He is in cover. We do a tiny little amount of damage to that brawler. Because he's hiding behind his shield. Got a feeling we're going to lose a few people here. You're probably dead anyway. As for you, yeah, I think I'm going to actually move you back a little bit further. Just get you around the corner. We're going to lose some people. I'll just be happy if we can finish the mission. Oh, you've died through bleed damage anyway. It's fine by me. Oh, to the head. There's two aliens left. There's this one that's quite close to us. And there's that one right the way at the back. I think so anyway. I think it's just those two. So we did lo lose that guy to bleeding, as I expected. Uh, my sniper doesn't have a line of sight on anybody currently, so let's go ahead and move him forwards. And we can shoot one person. Let's go ahead and use that uh, point to try and shoot away his shield. 
There we go. That'll make him a lot easier for somebody else to hit. I say somebody else. We don't have many people left, but... You've only got a shot on that guy now, and he's far too far away for you to do any effective damage. Let's move back over here. And now we have a shot on it. So let's make sure we aim at the right one. It's only got one health. Or two health, actually. Fantastic. And now we've got this one guy left to deal with. And we've got a sniper who is bleeding out. And we've got a heavy who is bleeding out and can't move. So we'll have to try and move forwards with the heavy anyway. And uh, yeah, let's see how badly this goes for us. Let's see how lucky the aliens get. A little bit tricky to see what's going on there with the queen's body in the way. Do we have another alien there off the edge that we can't see? Right, our heavy can actually see the alien. It'll only do one damage from that distance, but we're going to die on the next turn anyway, so we might as well take a shot at it. We will take return fire. Actually didn't do any damage because he was too far away. Now this guy's in relatively good health, so we're going to try and move forwards and keep taking shots. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to this grunt and that alien. He actually got away with a little bit more damage than I would have liked there. So this is going to be the death of our heavy. Oh, there is another one around here as well. Now, I know this is a slightly different build to the one that I was playing on the stream last night. And I think Julian's gone and bumped the difficulty up. Because I did say it felt easier. So, we're not in a particularly good spot. This guy over here is just melee, so he's going to be easier to deal with. We could try and throw a grenade at him. We do still have some of our grenades left. But we also want to try and stay in cover. Can't quite get into the cover that we want to there, unfortunately. So, I think I'm just going to go and have an overwatch turn for this guy and see what happens. So you are moving in. Well, we've damaged its arm. Is he going to be able to get close enough to attack? Not quite. He got very close, though. Would have been nice if the two of them had gotten close enough for a grenade. We do get some return fire. So let's go ahead and... We can't even finish this one off here, which is unfortunate. But we can lob a grenade at it. No, grenade won't finish him off either. Wow, he's got a lot of health. But we can definitely go and get rid of his, uh, his shield. And see, we actually still take some uh, return fire from that alien over there. And there we go. I've lost my last soldier. Well, three games last night, and I won them all. So, you know, I guess uh, three out of four is not, uh, not terrible. I see the chat is still scrolling amazingly fast with questions. I'll go ahead and start up uh, another game. We'll just do the normal uh, the normal horde mode for this one. I really do hope that uh, Julian was prepared for this and knew what he was letting himself in for. I certainly didn't. So let's go for this again. Let's get ourselves um, a couple of grunts. Let's get ourselves... Let's go for two heavies this time. The heavies have really poor movement, but at the same time, they do a lot of damage and they're well worth having. And uh, let's go ahead and get a 
Sniper. So a slightly different map this time. The problem with having five heavies is the heavies don't have return fire. They don't have the ability to gun and run. So you're pretty much limited to very, very small uh, bits of movement. Which is potentially problematic. So we can make our moves. There will be aliens around. Most of the stuff around here is just half cover. But let's start moving forwards. I think we'll definitely spend some willpower on Overwatch this turn. Right, everybody into semi-cover cover. cover. Overwatch is for everyone. I know this map well enough to know that it needs Overwatches for everyone. Let's go ahead and get you over there. That's another heavy. And the sniper. I don't have quite as much movement as I'd like for the sniper, so we're going to go ahead and put him over here for the time being. Let the aliens do their thing. Already starting to uh, to see some of them appear. Now, there we go. Actually getting a few Overwatch uh, shots off here. There's one alien dead before it even had a chance to do anything. This is a brawler, so he's melee. Uh, another thing that's worth mentioning, and I haven't brought this up in my previous stream, is that in the final game... The majority of maps that you take uh, that you participate on will be procedurally generated. The two maps in this demo have been uh, hand built for the demo. Oh, there's a grenade. That was unfortunate. That's probably done some bleed damage as well. So we've got a few. Na oh, lost guy already. Got a few nasties coming in. Of course, there's no destructible terrain in this build yet either, and that will be in the uh, in the full game. So, can we take those two guys out with a heavy's rocket launcher? Do we, well, we have the range, but can we get them both in is kind of the question. Uh, we could hit the one at the back. Seems like a little bit of a waste, to be honest. Although anything that kills an alien is probably not a waste and it won't be able to shoot back if we just hit it like that. Should be e easily able to kill that guy at the front. Now then, our sniper doesn't have a line of sight on anybody right here. So let's just move him in. Now he does have a line of sight on this guy. Let's go ahead and take the aim shot at the shield arm. See if we can go ahead and disable that. Looks like that's not happening. Let's go and fire our rocket then with you. And again, we've got a lot of obstacles in the way which make this difficult. But I want to take out the, the one with the gun. Because he's going to be the big problem. And uh, I think you are going to have to try and finish that one off. This is too much of a liability. Now the alien's turn, or at least it will be the alien's turn. We have lost a soldier already. So yeah, melee guy trying to sneak around the back, deploying his shield. This guy can and will shoot. And he's got a fair amount of armor. Actually two of them that can shoot. Now, the return fire might even kill that if we're lucky, and it did. Fantastic. Gained us some willpower back. So, currently, we don't have any methods to be able to sort of heal or bandage and prevent bleeds and things like that. But, of course, that is something that will be uh, in the full game when it is done. And we don't have many places we can put our sniper where we could get a shot. We need to come out of cover. We could put him over here, actually, and keep him in cover. 
and then we can take a shot at this guy. He's a bit further away than I would like. So before we take that shot, uh, let's consider if we could do something with a grenade. I'm not entirely convinced that we'll be able to get close enough to throw a grenade. Because grenades do have a relatively short range. So the edge of the orange uh, area there, really. If we were to move over to here... Yeah, we still wouldn't really be able to get that grenade in. We are going to die anyway if we don't do something. So we might as well, at the very least, try and take a shot. Uh, we still have this guy on this side as well. Well, we know we're going to die. So let's go ahead and do something. Let's move over here. Let's try and use that grenade if we can reach. Let's take his shield out. Now he is panicked. We should be able to finish him off with this guy. Down already. And we still have our movement left on you. Uh, we've got the rocket launcher selected, which we don't want. Uh, let's move you in cover from that side. Now, do we take the shot or do we overwatch? We do two damage. I think we've got to start taking shots. Disabled its leg. Not that useful for something that shoots at us primarily. Um, our sniper has already taken his shot. We can put the sniper on Overwatch. Let's go ahead and do that. So actually, is that a different one? It came from behind us. It looks like it was a different one. Well, that was unfortunate. Our sniper just got shot in the back. Taking a lot of extra hits here. I'm almost convinced Julian's bumped the difficulty up without telling me. It'd be nice if we could kill that guy off. It's just getting into a, a covered position. Where we can actually hit him. Now, this is this is one issue that I have here. We've our arm has been disabled, which means we can no longer use our machine gun. Now that's that's problematic to us. Because we can't actually fire. We've we've only got one character left that we can use to fire. Let's go and try and uh, do some damage to this thing. It's got a lot of armor. Taking some return fire damage there. There's a grenade over the wall, so he's dead anyway. It's not looking good for the Phoenix Point team at the moment. So, we are bleeding, which is not a surprise. And uh, again, you see, this, this is a little bit of an issue. This is something that will be resolved in the final game, of course, because you'll have ways to sort of heal yourself and treat other members of your team. And you'll have other equipment and weapons and abilities that you can use. Uh, but at the moment, this guy is kind of stuck. Because he can't use his gun. I will be honest, this has not been my most glorious game. If you want to see more successful playthrough, watch the stream from last night. Everything seemed to come together there. I'm going to go ahead and try that one again, though. Maybe it's because I went um, went for the two heavies. I think when I did this last time, I, I went for the, the three grunt route. And I think I actually had most of the people over on uh, this side of the map. That might have been what did it for me. Let's have the grunt there because he's slightly faster. And then we'll have a heavy on this side. And we'll have the sniper over here. We'll see if this works out for us. Oh well. It, it, this is not XCOM baby. So let's go and have a look for aliens. Didn't find any on that turn. It doesn't mean that we won't. Let's go ahead and get our sniper around on that side. So we're going to have a few overwatch turns going on here, I think. Now our heavy's not going to get to move very far. Let's get our... 
grunt around this side. And we've got one more grunt over here. And we're going to try and put him over on this side. Uh, leave people with enough room to do some overwatches. And hopefully, if any aliens stick their heads out in front of us, they're all going to get taken out before they have a chance to do anything. So here comes the first one. So did four damage done already. There's a brawler, so it wasn't able to return fire. Now we've got one that has a gun, with the look of things. Oh no, this is just one of the, uh, the little scout things. I do have grenade launchers. We've got another guy with a gun there. He's taking a shot. Took a bit more damage there than we would have uh, liked to have. So we've got one uh, one guy bleeding already. We've got this guy behind there. So yeah, we were only in half cover, which was you know part of the problem. That's already disabled our arm, which is a bit annoying. So let's go ahead and switch to our grenades. Let's move over here and get into full cover. We still can't see any other aliens at the moment. We don't really have any range to do anything with this grenade. So we'll just sort of sit and keep that for now. Can we hit both of those with the rocket launcher if we fire it? Get uh, two aliens for one. No, they're just slightly too far away from one another. Let's go and move the heavy over here. No, they are both in cover. We can't kill you off. Can't kill either of them off, actually, but we can do a significant amount of damage to this guy. We're going to take some return fire here as well. And we need to try and take that guy out. So we've, we've got some work ahead of us here. Not sure there are many places that we could get into where we could hit that guy. We can certainly go ahead and throw a grenade over the wall. So that's shredded his armor. Let's go ahead and leave this guy on overwatch. Now, what about our sniper? Can we move anywhere where we could take shots at anything? Not looking lightly at the moment. We'll stay on overwatch just in case. Now, I guess what I could do with this guy is just dash him somewhere a little bit safer. As he only has that grenade, we'll just put him around there, uh, around the corner, out of the way. There we go, Sniper's doing his job. Now, one of the grunts doing his job. There's a small amount of damage because it was was quite far away. In comes a grenade. So we've lost a soldier already. Right, okay, we've got a couple of aliens together now. This might be an opportunity to use our uh, heavy. Although I think even he is out of range for that one to hit. He is indeed... Um, I mean, we could move him up a bit. It does leave him out in the open. Let's go and see what we can pull off. Let's go and move him over here. Can we hit these two guys? We can hit one of them. Let's go and take that shot. It'll almost kill him. Disabled his head. We will take some return fire. That one's dead, so now we just need to get people into a position where they can do something. Uh, you've got grenades selected still. So let's move you over here. And uh, let's see how much damage we can do. So we could take out that one at the back, or we could take out this one here. I think we take out this one first. Again, some nasty return fire. 
And we've still got our trusty sniper. Well, we already, we already fired? No, we didn't fire with the sniper. So can we get the sniper somewhere where we can take a shot? Not looking likely at the moment, so we'll have to sort of do a dash move with our sniper. And we have this guy here as well. Lack of decent cover anywhere. So let's go ahead and move you over this way. I guess we'll put you on Overwatch. You're done with your turn. The um, sniper can't Overwatch on this turn. We could pistol Overwatch though. Just in case something comes close to us. You are bleeding, so you did take some damage. There's another alien over there as well. Oh, there's the heavy gun. So that was unfortunate. We've got three aliens over there that we can see. Lots of exchanges of return fire going on right there. Let's just rotate the camera back around again. We're certainly not close enough to use any grenades. I'm trying to find some lines of fire is going to be difficult for you. So let's get you moved over here. And we'll put you onto Overwatch. We're going to have a lot of people just basically in some sort of cover. We are going to move forwards with the sniper. And we could try and take a shot with the pistol. We wouldn't do a lot of damage. So I think we just have to overwatch on that one. I'd like to try and kill this guy off, but that's going to be slightly problematic. We would have a line of sight on him from this tile. It's only half cover. That's not the one that I thought it was. We'll take the shot anyway. We'll take some return fire again. So once more, it is the turn of the aliens. Pistol shot from our sniper. Didn't do a lot of damage, but... Well, that was a dead alien. At least one of our uh, grunts is doing his job. Got a disabled torso on, the, on our sniper, but he does fire back. So does the grunt. Okay, so we've got bleed damage on the sniper. That's unfortunate. So, let's finish this thing off. Is that the last one? Nope, there's one more that I cannot see. Let's go ahead for another overwatch. And let's just switch our sniper to his sniper rifle and put him on overwatch. Okay, let's find where that last one is. See if he sticks his head out. There he is. So, automatic shot from the grunt. Now, that is one of the tanks, so he has a gun and a shield. Didn't even take any damage there. That was uh, unfortunate. So, everybody's bleeding. You can take a shot from there. So let's go ahead and do that. It won't be a lot of damage. We took two damage in return. But let's start running forward so we can maybe get a grenade in there on the next turn. I'm pretty certain that is the last uh, alien remaining. Uh, you can take a shot. You don't have a lot of health left either. Um, no, I don't want to do. I don't want to finish your actions, but I did anyway. Should have probably gone over there and thrown a grenade. Now you're you're firing at my sniper. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he's a little bit too far away to take any real damage, and plus he's got two armor, so that's not helping. So let's get over here with this guy. Are we close enough to get a grenade over the wall? Yes. That'll shred one of his points of armor. 
Also, we've disabled his gun arm as well, which is fantastic. Now, can we flank him? Not really. In fact, in order to be able to shoot him at all, I'm going to have to stand out in the open. But we can do that because we have the uh, gun and run ability. So we can move out. Apparently, I don't have a line of sight on him, even though it said that I did. So that could be a little bug there. But let's just go and hide around the corner in that case. And we will end the turn. He is bleeding. He's got no gun anymore, so he can't shoot us. Yeah, now he's deploying his shield, so we've pretty much got him. We'll go ahead and um, send him a grenade of friendship. Down he goes. And we actually won one. So, okay, we've only got two soldiers out of five. But we did actually manage to defeat that one. Just trying to take a second here to uh, read through the chat. Unfortunately, because I've been trying to concentrate on the game, I've not really been able to read the chat all that well. So I will probably be going through the video again uh, afterwards and uh, just rereading it all so I can uh, take a note of all of Julian's uh, answers. I see we've got Alan Stroud in here as well, one of the uh, writers for Phoenix Point. I didn't realise he was going to be present today. Hello, Alan. I missed you coming in. I think, uh, if possible, Alan should um, very much have his little uh, marker next to his name. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's just go ahead and uh, I did win. Well, I don't know if it was I don't know if it was a win because I only had one and a half soldiers left. Um, I'm not too sure what we can do with the half of soldier. Maybe save him until we get another half and stitch them together or something. But well, there was there was more soldier than aliens remaining, I suppose. I'm a little bit surprised. I guess this is a boss map, so obviously the queen is um, the queen is in a very specific place. So we all, everyone has to deploy on this end of the map, whereas we normally get the option to deploy in quite a few places. But again, I still like this this mix of having the uh, the three grunts, the one heavy, the one sniper. It seems to work really well in this particular scenario. Now, one of the most requested features when Snapshot sent the survey out to people uh, to ask what sort of things they would like to see in a game like this and in what sort of order of preference they were, the thing that came out top of the list was AI. Now, the AI in the game so far isn't terrible. Uh, it's still got a long way to go, um, but the AI is still fairly basic. But it, uh, it it's getting more, uh, smarter each time I, I play this. The first time I played this, they couldn't even use grenades, and they've been using grenades to great effect recently. So let's go and consider moving some units forward. I just I wish there was a slightly better cover from this direction, but there is not. Um, so let's just keep people in cover where we can. Let's once again try and, again, avoid the queen to start with. And pick on the guys that can shoot at us. These are the problem ones that I don't like. And try and disable these gun arms as often as possible. Now, the guy standing next to him will fire back, but zero damage because he's too far away. So, let's go and consider moving into cover. Oh, there's a lot of cover that we can use from this side now. We'll, we'll, we'll stick over here. It'll be slightly safer, I think. And we'll shoot at whatever we can shoot at. So, we've got a shot at that guy. Let's go and do that. Again, it'll, we'll take return fire. Oh no, we can't. We won't return fire that one because we shot his arm off. Fantastic. Let's move forwards with the heavy slightly. And uh, yeah, I think we'll definitely save the rocket launcher for now. So let's go ahead and use the heavy to damage the one that's already injured. 
knowing that it can't shoot back anyway. Actually, severely damaged the torso as well. Fantastic. And what else do we want to do? Who do we want to try and do something with? We've got you over here. Again, I think just keeping you in cover is probably the best thing to do. And can we... Oh, he's just slightly too far away. Do we have any movement left? So, as you can see, even though I've already moved uh, once, I still have movement left for my first action point. So, what I can do is I can actually try and move a little bit closer. Now, I'm out of cover here, but that might give me the, the extra range I need to do the, the damage. It fortunately wasn't quite enough. What the plan was was to edge forward, see if I'd be close enough to do some additional damage... And then use the opportunity to gun and run. So we can move back into a safe position. One thing that I'm going to try and do uh, after I have done with the stream. Is uh, I'll probably go through and try to. It's going to be a challenge. Try and collate all of the questions and answers given. And um See if I can put a list of them together somewhere. So hopefully that'll be a thing. Now we've still got a shot we can take with you. We can actually finish that alien off, so let's go ahead and do it. And now, of course, all of the other aliens are going to start losing willpower. So I don't think we need to move you. You're in full cover. The aliens get a turn. They're going to start moving in. Fortunate that we took some fire. We're only in half cover. Our return fire didn't do any damage at all. And here comes Stompy. She's uh, delightfully dropped off one of her kin. And as usual, this guy comes and stands right next to them. That is always fine for me. Makes it nice and easy to hit them with the rocket launcher. That's exactly what we're going to do. So, as we did before, let's go ahead and move our heavy over here. And select the missile launcher. And we're going to put it right there. So, we can kill both of those aliens. Do some damage to the queen. Shred one of its armor. Uh, it's probably just going to annoy her, to be honest. But Now then, where's the other alien that we can see? It's probably... It's this one over here. Now, he does have a gun. Now, that does concern me. So, I'm going to select my sniper. And once again, I'm going to try... Uh, we can only see that one's shield arm. That's not the correct alien, is it? No, it is not. I'll zoom out a little bit. I want to try and get that yellow marker on this one. This is going to be a big risk, but I'm going to see if I can pull it off. I'm going to move around the corner slightly to get the line of sight that I want. And then we're going to go for his gun arm and hope that we can um, disable it. And we did as well. Fantastic. He can't shoot back anymore. Doesn't mean our sniper's slightly in the open, but now we can't shoot. I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. So I think we should have at least one more grenade of friendship going in here. Because we do want to get rid of some of that armor. And then we might go for some direct damage. Let's go and try and shoot the head. There we go. We actually took the head off in a single shot there. And we've got um, at least one more guy over here that can take a shot. Now, we could try and start doing some damage to that carapace and, and take off some of the armor. Or we could try and go for the claws. I think taking the claws off this thing is a very good idea because it really slows its uh, ability to attack. Most likely going to try and attack one of my guys now anyway. We could try and run a little bit further away, but we'll probably chase us down anyway. 
It is taking some bleed damage, so is that one at the back. That is just a brawler, so we don't have to worry too much about that one. So, for people's information, I'm not too sure how long this stream is going to go on for. We've been going for about an hour so far. Obviously, it's quite late for Julian, so I think a lot of it will come down to when Julian needs to leave us. And she has spawned another one of those things, which is not nice. Um, but uh, we can say hi with another grenade, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, let's consider doing that. We've got another grenade over here. Can we even take that thing out? No. But we can certainly do some damage to the queen as well. Take some more armor away. Let's go ahead and... Um... Yeah, let's actually risk it and, and do another grenade as well. Just really trying to destroy our armor. That gives us a bit of willpower as well. Now we've got this guy at the back. He's definitely going to take a shot. Uh, we've taken the head off. We should probably carry on trying to get rid of this claw. So even though the claw only did uh, only had four health, we actually did eleven damage. So that eleven damage is applied to the uh, boss as a whole. It, the extra, the overkill, as it were, doesn't become wasted, which is good. Now our heavy still has the ability to take a shot. Could try and finish that guy off. He's bleeding anyway, and he doesn't have a weapon. So I think we go for the other claw on the uh, on the queen here takes a lot more damage now that uh, she doesn't have much of her armor left. So no claws, no head, what are you going to do? We've, we've still got our sniper, who I am going to move back slightly. So we probably don't have enough firepower to finish off the queen here. But we don't have an, an awful lot of options left. So let's go ahead and just go for the Queen's legs. It is panicked now, which is good for us. Excellent. Right, you can't do an awful lot. I'm not too sure the Queen's going to be able to do anything at all now that she's panicked. Yeah, you just bleed to death on the way over. That's fine. I'm, I'm alright with that. Right, yeah, here's one of the melee guys coming in. This might be the one that we have to uh, deal with next. And, of course, we know that there's, oh, there's a couple of them. A uh, couple left. Deploying his shield. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Nice of you to, uh, to drop in. I think we're going to use this guy, actually, and just... Um, Again, get, get those old grenades of friendship out. Try and do as much damage to him as possible. Uh, you've still got your grenades left, but you, can, you can't quite finish the queen off, which is unfortunate. What about you? Do you have enough firepower? You don't have any grenades left. You can finish the queen off, so let's go and get that done. And splat. Excellent. So who's the biggest threat? This one's probably going to die anyway. He doesn't have a gun. You still have some grenades left, but you're well out of range. So, Mr. Heavy, what can you do? You can finish that guy off. That helps. Now this guy at the back feels a little bit safer. Uh, you don't have any line of sight on anybody. We could run out to somewhere, take a shot, and then move you back into safety, but we'll we'll save that uh, thought for now. Uh, let's go for a targeted shot on this guy. Uh, let's try and go for his shield arm. And we did some damage to it, but wasn't enough to take the shield arm off completely. Uh, you can just stay there. As for this guy, I think we'll just go ahead and put you on Overwatch and let's see what happens. There's the aliens trying to recover a little bit of their willpower. Because they've lost so many Conrads. Now that, that one will probably... Oh, there's a grenade. That was nice of you. 
taking some damage to the torso. But still, everything is generally okay. Right, we've got a shot on a flanked alien. Is it even worth wasting the shot? I think we just get it over and done with. That's actually panicked that one at the back that has full health still. Now then, Mr. Sniper, how are you feeling today? Are you feeling like uh, killing this thing? No, but you've got it down to four damage, or four health even. So let's start moving up with the heavy, who didn't die a tragic, horrible death this time yet. Fantastic. So, okay, we've still got that one that's hiding at the back. He's round this... He's, he's fairly close, actually. I'm going to go ahead and uh, rotate the camera to make sure that I get this in the right place. I'm going to go ahead and run some of these guys up into cover. One thing I do like about the... Um, the movement system. Now, he's got no grenades left, which is why he wasn't showing the blue line. One thing I do like about this movement system is if you make a mistake, you can correct it. So let's say I want to sort of click here and put my guy in cover, and I accidentally click over here, which I've done a million times before in games like XCOM, and I'm like, oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I'm not in cover anymore, and I've just wasted my, my dash. But no, I can still move, because I've still got movement left. So that's one of the great things about this. Let's go ahead and end your... Uh, turn and yours and uh, what are we going to do with you just just end your turn i suppose actually no let's go ahead and do a gun and run uh, just so that we can move you into a slightly more forward position and uh, we'll end things there now we haven't got any overwatches going well uh, surprisingly enough the alien just seems to have um, ran away Right, where are you hiding? Let's go ahead and dash into cover here. Let's try and bait him out. We still can't see him yet. No, we don't want you to move. You just finish your action. Let's start charging forwards now with our sniper and our heavy. Not that you can charge forwards with the heavy. So let's go ahead and leave you there. And we can get to half cover with the heavy, so... Let's go ahead and do that. And I guess it's just a couple of overwatches, just in case it does decide to pop his head out. Uh, let's put you around this corner. You're not technically in cover. Well, you are in cover from that direction, but you can be bait, sir. I'm not bullying the crab man. The, the, the crab man is out to get me. This is his preemptive self-defense. So, look, he's just fired a grenade at me. Now, that wasn't called for, was it? So, we're already taking um, bleed damage. Um, I hear you've got a fondness for grenades. So, eat that. That shredded his armor. Um, we'll have a flanking shot from this side. So, let's go ahead and... There we go. I think that's the last alien. That's the mission complete. And I didn't lose a single soldier. It can be done. It's not impossible. I'm actually finding at the moment that the, the Queen scenario is a little bit easier than the Horde scenario. Um, I think it's because there is a smaller variety of enemy types on this map. And um, providing you disable the... Uh, providing you disable the ones that can shoot you, the ones that only have melee take quite a while to get across the map and reach you. So you can sort of just deal with them one at a time as they run into your gunfire. Uh, but as I did uh, respond to a comment um, somewhere earlier today, uh, this is a prototype. And by the time the full game is released, you're going to have different equipment and different armor and uh, different abilities. The AI is going to be smarter and uh, the way ballistics works is going to be different. So what can appear to be quite an easy boss encounter at the moment might be a completely different story by the time the final game comes out. And as Julian's just mentioned in the uh, chat, uh, the Queen will be able to emit the mist 
which is a mechanic not currently implemented, and that is something that is going to be uh, quite the game changer. I'm not sure if I'm getting better at the game, Julian, or if it is the um, the aliens just getting tired of being shot and running away. So, as Julian's just pointed out there, it is now uh, well beyond midnight in uh, in Sofia. So, thanks very much, Julian, for dropping by and answering some questions. I think I'm going to end the stream here anyway. Uh, I don't want this to be another super long stream like the one was last night. What I am going to do is I'm going to go through the chat and basically try and filter out all of the questions and answers that have been given. Uh, try and put them in some sort of file. Uh, that can be uh, uploaded somewhere if people want to go through and uh, read the Q&A from the stream. So I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who has dropped by tonight um, to watch, uh, to put your questions to Julian. Thanks to all of you for being on your best behaviour as well. That uh, is always very much appreciated. And I will see you all next time. Until then, goodbye for now.